Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with GTA 5. While launching the game, you got an error. GTA 5 was unable to authenticate with Epic Online Services. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, in the basic step, you need to open the game directory, whether you have Epic Games or Steam. If you have Epic Games, launch the Epic Games, go to a library, you need to click on three dot icon next to your game and click on the option manage. Now over here, you will find the option of a browse file. Click on it to open the game directory. Now at my end, the game is available in F drive, Rockstar Games, GTA 5. Now after opening the game directory, you need to right click on GTA 5 executable files, which is GTA 5 enhanced.exe, GTA 5 battlelight.exe and play GTA 5.exe. Right click on each of these three files, go to the properties, click on compatibility tab and if this option is check mark, uncheck it and if this is unchecked, check mark it. Hit apply and ok button. Do the same with GTA 5 underscore enhance as well as GTA 5 battle life file. After doing these changes, try to relaunch the game. If it is still there, in next step I highly recommend to first of all go ahead and use a VPN. And for a VPN, you can use Proton VPN, which is totally free to use. And after connecting to a VPN, first of all, you need to launch the Rockstar Games Launcher into your system. Make sure to launch first Rockstar Games Launcher into your system. Once it is launched, update it, sign in, and after signing in, only then you need to launch your Epic Online Services and then launch the GTA 5. And hopefully, this will resolve the issue of GTA 5 was unable to authenticate with online services. If this also failed, in next step, head over to this PC, from the left pane, click on the option documents and find here a folder with the name Rockstar Games. First of all, right click on it and choose the option copy to make a backup of this particular folder. Paste it onto a desktop. After pasting onto a desktop, right click and choose the option delete. It is saying that one of the programs is currently running. So make sure before deleting, Rockstar Games, Steam or Epic, none of the programs are running into your system. After closing these programs, then only you will be able to delete this particular folder. Like you can see, it is now deleted. Once deleted, restart your PC and relaunch the game to fix out the issue. And if none of these methods help you fix out the issue, right click on start menu, choose option run, type here ncpa.cpl and then hit the enter key. Now here whichever your Wi-Fi is, you need to right click and choose option properties. Here first of all uncheck TCP IP v6 and then click on the option TCP IP v4 and click on properties option. Now we are going to use the Google DNS. So select the second action and type in 8.8.8.8 and in alternate DNS 8.8.4.4. Once you have done so, close it. Now relaunch your game and this will completely fix out the issue of GTA 5 was unable to authenticate with Epic Online Services. So as of now, this is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.